But at the same time, that was what you did in the eighties. That was yeah. like typical eighties sort of stuff. Yeah. Like, hello and welcome back to the Superpower Dead Eye Team. I'm Peter, and I'm Rick, and welcome back to our uh, another review of another <sighs> movie. This time, this is the Netflix movie Axel F. Oh no, sorry, I got it wrong. It's Beverly Hills Cop Axel F, not Beverly Hills Cop Four. So straight to Netflix, Eddie Murphy getting a bit of a paycheck as Ryan Reynolds does a lot through Netflix. Ryan as Reynolds, I Adam believe, Stanley does. Oh, I think Ryan Reynolds has done the best out of it. Like he's just well, like, I oh, Adam, I feel like I going to Prague. Sandler. Adam Sandler was like the highest paid actor like last year or the year before. Oh, okay, all yep. from his Netflix stuff, basically. Anyway, which I wouldn't. Anyway, so. Growing up in the 80s and stuff like that, like I, I was a fan of the old uh, Beverly Hills Cop universe. Loved Eddie Murphy in the first one. Second one was pretty good. Third one was horrible. So I was, I think we might have done a reaction to the trailer for this one a yeah, while ago, yeah. back when no. we were you know, not in jail. But um, it looked good. Like Eddie Murphy looks good. However, uh, after finishing watching this one, uh, my partner and I went and watched started watching the original because I'm going, let's go back to all the throwbacks for the original movies. And he he looks decent. He's older, but he looks he's pretty I good. I the same yeah. thing. Like watching it, I thought, wow, he, he looks really good. And especially yeah. when you compare it to the two white dudes. But um, yeah. then when like I turned it off, there was like a little thumbnail of Beverly Hills Cop, the first one. I was like, oh, my God, yeah. he was a baby. So, yeah, he has. I mean, we yeah. all have. We've all aged. I, like I... I I enjoyed it. It was a little, a bit of a nostalgia bait. I don't know what someone who is new to the like, if you hadn't seen the first three, or no, forget would the third one. Would you be watching one. it? Would you be watching it if you, if you hadn't seen? Maybe the not, other? because there were so many callbacks to the to the first two movies. They, they were even setting up the the scenes bit by bit. Um, it wasn't great. It'd be one of those movies you see and then you're going, I've seen it, but you, it doesn't stay with you. Sort of yeah. thing. I think. I think in this one, I did. There was one laugh out loud joke for me, and I couldn't tell you what it was now. But um, yeah. it's decent. Like Eddie Murphy he's a, he seems like a nice guy. Um, <laughs> the no, but no, he does like, from other stuff I've seen him do. He's, he seems like a nice guy. Um, I, I, I like the joke, the pot shots at uh, the other people that starred with him in the original movie about how he looks much better than them, and yeah, um, and he's the same age as them. Oh, uh, Paul Reiser, yeah, he's like, yeah, he's the same age as me. <laughs> <laughs> you need um, to go to a health spa or something. You're looking terrible. It, it was just kind of like Netflix fair. It yeah, didn't hit any great, and I think what ruined it. Is that the? I think the best bits were in the trailer. Like, yeah, I do remember watching the trailer, the trailer now. No, no, we do. We we did a review on it, whether yeah. we posted it up here or not. Um, but yeah, I remember there was the whole helicopter thing and the story. Yeah, I do remember the helicopter. I was waiting for the, the helicopter the whole. Yeah, the story based on the trailer did play out a lot differently in the movie. So, like, I guess they didn't. And that's the thing that the, the trailer didn't give the story away. But when you're watching a movie and you're going, oh, hang on, I'm waiting for that bit that I saw in the trailer. Yeah. Um, and that sort of takes you out of it a bit. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it was better. It was better than Beverly Hills Cop 3. I was a little bit younger when um, Be the first Beverly Hills Cop came out and my brother went to see it with a friend of his and my mum was with us and she asked if it was appropriate for me to watch and the lady at the cinema said no. <laughs> And said and recommended that we go see Police Academy Two, which had topless women in the first five minutes. So I went and saw Police Academy Two with my mum, and yep. um, my brother went and saw Beverly Hills Cop and loved it. So I think I had to wait till it came out on on video to watch it. And you know, I enjoyed it. We I, I reckon I heard the soundtrack before I watched the movie, and the soundtrack yep. is in this a lot. Like they use the same yes. songs. I don't know if they've updated them a bit, but yeah, they use the same songs. No, I think, uh, but that that also happened in the um, um, Top Gun Maverick movie. They, yeah, yeah. They, they, it's it's all the nostalgia thing. Like, oh, let's no, go it back is, to it the is 80s. a nostalgia thing. Yeah. I probably don't have quite the nostalgia that some other people mm. have about the movie, but I, I didn't mind mm. it. It was just 
something easy to watch. It's not anything you can pick apart too much because they've done what they, they set out to do, I think. Yeah. And the I remember watching it and thinking, they are they going to do like a Force Awakens here and not put, you know, the team back together? And so I was thinking, why aren't the three, <laughs> you know, buddies yeah. together? And then, spoilers, just at the very last shot, we got them all together. And that's all we wanted, yeah. George. Not George. That's all we wanted, <laughs> JJ. That's all we wanted. We just wanted to see yep. them together one last time. And you so ruined we... it before it couldn't happen because people died. People oh, died in the that's, film. That's that movie. all we wanted yeah. with yeah. The Force Awakens to get the original three together. And we got it in this. Yeah. And that, you know, yep. that warmed up my cold heart a little bit when I watched it. And it was I fine. Know, felt... I don't feel think I'd big? rush back to see it again, but it was fine. Oh, I liked it's, it. it. It's not, uh, def- definitely doesn't bear repeat viewings. It's like, I've seen no. it. Yeah, that's it. Um, I don't think a lot of movies. And it was, you're actually... right. It was much better. I The only thing I remember about Beverly Hills Cop 3 was um, him on a Ferris wheel jumping around. Yes, for some and the like bad rest- CGI Ferris wheel. It was <laughs> terrible. And it was, and it just seemed to be half the movie. That's the only yeah. thing I remember from it. But, yeah, and, and it was good to oh, see Judge Reinhold back. I don't think mm. I've seen him since he was a close talker in Seinfeld. And and, and John and Ashton, look, who I, I think missed out on the third one. Um, but, yeah, no, it was it was fine. It, uh, it wasn't. Yeah. It didn't sully the the former one, so they they did better than most, the, like, reboots. It was better than Coming to America 2, that's for sure. I haven't seen that one. But uh, I think uh, there, was, there was a kind of little... Uh, winking at the audience one when, oh, who who was the actor that played the new, the up-and-coming, uh, 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 his, his his daughter's boyfriend? What? Oh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Ah, uh, yes. He, he's he, not an action hero. I, I, I think he's a good actor, but he's not an action hero. No, no, no he was going to be the new Robin if... if the, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But he he was there, and like, uh, oh yes, you yes, Mister Murphy, Mister Foley, you've been here in LA before, once in nineteen eighty one, right? And, yeah. And so when he got to Beverly Hills Cop three, that wasn't such a great. Like, I did, I kind of like that acknowledgement yeah. that yeah, everyone knows that was not. He was only in that but, movie to fly that helicopter, I reckon. Because I, like, yeah. I quite like, I quite like the scenes between um, Axel and his daughter. I thought they were okay. Like they, that was all right. Yeah, um, like when they were working together, not so much when they were arguing about their their problems, but when they were yeah, actually yeah. working together, I thought they worked well together. But yeah, and no. and what they did do is capture. It was like an eighties movie. Like it didn't feel but like yeah. a new flashy CGI quick edits. Like yeah, it was it so, was filmed and edited like an eighties movie, which I did appreciate. And so, did you say so the opening? And I'm going back a bit now, but so the opening scene when Axel was driving. Uh, through the streets of where's he come from Brooklyn or whatever it is, but Detroit. he's driving through the thing, Detroit, yeah, and um, he's driving his car through, and he's looking out his car window, and then like looking at people who are just doing this. That, did that look like something they filmed him doing this, <laughs> this, and making reaction shots, and then later on they've put that. That they sure they do. They wouldn't have been like right. Anyway, but then there was one he was car. yelling at the. He was yelling at the car to kids who nah. could not have heard him at all. Yeah. Like, oh. I could but, arrest you for that. But at the same time, that was what you did in the 80s. That was yeah. like typical 80s sort of stuff. Yeah. Like you didn't it pick was it up. Very much was done like, like you do now. Movie, mm. Which is what it should have so, been, because that's like the yeah. 80s. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was heartwarming. It was a nice throwback. It was an enjoyable watch for the people. Oh, and a little bit of I don't know if it's real trivia or not, like you know, Instagram, but um Apparently, Eddie Murphy, like, in that first movie, he had this really great laugh, like he had a really deep laugh. But there's there's a rumour, something I've seen going around that um, for whatever reason it wasn't like, so he had to get rid of or uh, he was told to get rid of the laugh because he didn't do it in this. No, he he hasn't do done it. it. I didn't even think no. about that. Yeah, but the laugh is what I liked about him in that first movie. Yeah. I think he might have done it in the second one as well. But he, he actually made a conscious decision to get rid of it Based on, uh, well, this is you know, the 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 internet rumor because you know, the internet is al- always true. I like the laugh, like, uh, but he took it away. It's like that sort of. I didn't even <laughs> think about the laugh. Yeah, it's yeah, like a real. Anyway. Yeah, taking a breath. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, that, uh, do it. 
enjoyable, like an enjoyable nostalgia trip, but no, nothing you go, I'll watch it again, which yeah, is it's... probably most of the movies these days. Yeah. Uh, and it's definitely not a disaster. No, 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 absolutely. Absolutely not terrible. So I'll give that a, 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 a thumb up. Yeah, I'll give that one a thumbs up. Thank you for watching the Superpower Dare Die team. If you enjoy our videos, please like them. Please subscribe to our channel and please leave a comment. It all helps our channel grow. Join us on our Facebook page. Links in the description. Take care and goodbye.